Good morning. My name is Judith Harvey. Can you tell me your full name, please? My name is Razia Bilici. Thank you. And can you tell me where you're from, Razia? I'm from Turkey. Can I see your identification, please? Yes, Thank you. That's fine. Now, in this first part, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Let's talk about what you do. Do you work or are you a student? I'm a nurse. And why did you choose this kind of work? Uh, I have two reasons for that. First, uh, I'm from Turkey. In Turkey, you have to pass a very difficult uh, exam if you like to go to the university. And uh, I get mar uh, mark for the just nursing, I think. And the second one, uh, from my childhood, I always uh, be like doctor or nurse and uh, to help other people. So I really like that, which is my mom always contrast she because she wants to maybe a teacher <laughs> like my sisters. <laughs> what kind of work would you like to do in the future? I don't know a system in England very well, but uh, maybe nursing advisor or some management job. I don't know exactly. Now let's talk about weekends. What do you usually do at the weekend? Uh, at the moment my weekends are very busy because I do a lot of housework and I have a two and a half years daughter. She is a very exciting and uh, energetic child. And uh, she mess up everywhere very quickly. It's not uh, easy to tidy up and uh, do it well. What do you think you'll do next weekend? Mm, I planned something for last week, but I couldn't do it. I'd like to bring my husband to the cinema. And uh, after cinema, maybe we'll go to the Turkish restaurant in Santais. Do you enjoy your weekends now more than you did when you were a child? No, I prefer to be a child again because uh, wh when you are a child you just uh, play and you haven't got any responsibility or job to do, but now it's so different and difficult. How important is it for you to relax at the end of the week? Mm, it's very important, but at the moment it's not possible <laughs> because uh, now I'm studying English as well, is uh, when you start a job or study, you. You would like to be fresh, but it's really difficult to be. Now, let's talk about music. What sort of music do you usually enjoy listening to? Mm, I'm not fond of music a lot, but I usually listen to Turkish music. And the classic Turkish music is get me relaxed. And uh, Has the kind of music you like changed over the years? Mm, maybe pop music, Turkish pop music, probably, yeah. Do you prefer listening to live music or recorded music? As it it's depends on the uh, kind of music. In, in Turkey I prefer uh, live music, but in England I have to listen to tape music. Do you think listening to music helps you study? <laughs> Probably not, but I do a lot. Uh, it's okay with the physics or maths or something like that, but uh, for the literacy or something you have to be focused on it. Is not. Now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Here's some paper and a pencil for making notes. Thank you. And here's your topic. I'd like you to describe a special gift or present you gave to someone. All right. Remember, you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I'll tell you when the time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Yes, the special uh, gifts I give to someone, it was uh, to my... Uh, I give it to my English teacher uh, last year. She is a fan of Turkey and the uh, Turkish culture. I gave it to her some uh, special uh, glass, which is uh, we just use for the Turkish uh, tea. And uh, she loves Turkish tea. And uh, last when I last uh, my last holiday, I bring some special uh, like a golden uh, Turkish glasses. 
and she she really liked them it was special because she likes the uh, turkish culture turkish food and she knows a lot about turkey when we are together we can uh, speak a lot about my culture my religion and uh, stuff from turkey or cities of turkey and she's great i think because it's really nice to know somebody from england and know about you all and uh, another gift uh, another special gifts i give some somebody who was my mother-in-law <laughs> and uh, normally we don't celebrate mother days and she have uh, she had never had any present from her child and uh, in uh, my family we celebrate mother days very specially and uh, i bought a ring for her and she was really exciting and uh, sensible because the first time somebody celebrated her mother's day and she she even don't know she even didn't know about mother's day but i explained to her and then i give the gifts and uh, after that i always do thank you do you enjoy giving gifts yes i really like to uh, give people uh, gifts when i saw them they like it they excited about it i feel happy too thank you can i have the booklet paper and pencil back please we've been talking about a special gift you gave to someone and i'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this let's consider first of all giving gifts in families okay. What occasions do family members give gifts to each other? Mm. It depends on country because every country has a different occasion. Uh, in England, I have been here for five years, especially before Christmas. So people <laughs> are crazy about giving gifts, shopping. But for us uh, in Turkey, we have uh, a lot of uh, special religious day. Two of them are very big. We one of them we celebrate for four days, one of, another one we celebrate for three days and we both a lot of gifts uh, for family ships and uh, neighbors sometimes, friends and this, one of them we buy present for poor people, especially for poor people. And what is the difference between the types of gift given to children? and the gifts given to adults in families. Uh, it's easy to find gifts for children because you can buy toys, books or some clothes, but for the adults it's really difficult to find what they would like. So what types of gifts do people give to adults? Mm, maybe some jewelry or some part of clothes, probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. And is giving gifts important in families? Yes. Because uh, you show them, you remember them, you love them. It's really important to me here. Yeah. Let's talk about giving gifts in society. What situations in business are there when people might give gifts? Mm, probably maybe first uh, day they set up their business, they celebrate that and give a present to employees or worker. And or in Turkey, colleagues give each other and uh, or to their boss in New Year. And what about giving gifts to customers? Good way to keep customer, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What types of gifts do businesses give? I really don't know. Maybe some uh, sale or uh, drop in the price, something like that. And how important is gift giving for a country's economy? Mm. I think in England it's perfect for economy because uh, gifts are very important. Uh, normally for us, if we know people haven't got the money, they don't have to buy anything. But I think this country you have to buy something. And it's a good uh, circle for to keep uh, money turned and turned again and again. Do you think there's pressure on people to buy too many gifts? Yes, I think so, yeah. Why? 
because I, I don't know very well, but if you have uh, some special days and you didn't get anything, maybe you will be sad and we expect that. Do you think it would be better for society if all the money that was spent on gifts was given to help poor people? Yeah, that would be perfect, but I don't think it's possible. But that will be really good, mm. yeah. Why, why not possible? Because people still like uh, like have a present or being remembered, something like that. But it would be nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think people in society should be made to give money to help other people? Yes. Why? I don't know. Maybe I don't know where is the poor people, or I don't know what there is or not. If the society or the government or the another community help me to find poor people, probably I will. Yeah, mm -hmm. and other people will too. Is it get better for people to give money or their time to help other people? I'm sorry, could you repeat it? Is it better for people to give money or their time to help other people? Yes, it's better because uh, when you need the help, other people will help you and it will be a circle again and everybody will help each other. Mm -hmm. so do you think that we should be made, or school children should be made to help other people? Yeah, uh, if you tra train at a young age, it will be like a habit for you when an adult or older, you will always help the people, yeah. It's like a science or math, I think. Thank you very much. That's the end of the speaking test. Oh, thank you.